we all know over here on this channel, my skin is pretty irregular. If you're new here, then hi, surprise, I'm allergic to water. I know it sounds crazy, but I promise you it's true. I've got a condition called aquagenic pruritus, and today I'm gonna to be showing you under a microscope what my skin looks like before and after I have a bath and my skin comes into contact with water. So effectively, I'm gonna be showing you pre and post allergic reaction. So if the thumbnail caught your eye, then make sure that you carry on watching because it's an interesting video, like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, and I just felt like it was a really cool way to look at what I have to go through every day or every time I have a bath and give you guys a bit of a zoomed in version of what really goes on with my skin. So, because of what my skin goes through on a daily basis anyway, I'd say that, as expected, it's more sore than the average person. Like, I'd say that it's a little bit more damaged, a little bit more rough. Like, obviously, because I have allergic reactions every single day, my skin isn't going to be in the best condition. So, here, we've got my skin under the microscope before I've shaved my legs, before I've done any type of hair removal. So, that's why you can see these crazy-looking hairs. Like, look at that. Like, I've got dark hair, so obviously my hair is going to be dark and thick but look at that. So yeah, as you can see, my skin looks really sore. You can see like the hair follicles are really red and they kind of look like little open cuts in some places. But obviously we've got to remember that because this is zoomed in, like it's gonna look a little bit more exaggerated than usual. So obviously you guys have seen my legs before. I have like tiny little bumps all over my legs and it looks like I just have permanent goosebumps. Well, this is what it looks like zoomed in. So since my last bath video, I feel like I've honed in on what products I use and what products like I find the most effective in making my baths as bearable as possible because either way my baths are going to be painful so it's a case of finding soaps and creams and things like that that just don't make it any worse as opposed to making it better so for my soap I use the sheer moisture African black soap for eczema and psoriasis so it's a medicated cleansing bar and it's formulated specially for sensitive and dry skin so it actually has ingredients within the soap that's meant to soothe irritated skin and honestly since I've been using this I can tell that it is working to some extent like my washing is still very painful and I still definitely have the allergic reactions whilst I'm in the bath but I don't get the same level of like burning that I used to from using other soaps so it just has some extra things in it to kind of help soothe your skin so the ingredients that it has in it is fucus extract so it says a remedy for eczema and then we've got the centella extract which reduces itching and then we have the melissa extract which reduces irritation and these ingredients combined i'm guessing is what is helping my skin or it's helping my baths to not hurt as much from putting soap on my body whilst i'm in the bath to moisturize my body obviously i can't use any water-based moisturizers or anything that has like a high level of water content in it which is the majority of moisturizers i use my emeline spray which is prescribed by my doctor so it's a special emollient spray which doesn't contain any water i think it's paraffin based and it was the first thing that i found that i was able to use on my skin without enhancing the allergic reaction because when i used to get out of the bath and put on regular moisturizer i'd have like a separate and longer lasting reaction from putting on moisturizer which obviously contained more water so i was just calming down from the bath and all of the water and then i'd get out and put a water-based moisturizer on which would obviously make things a lot worse and i also use this hemp baby balm which is by the hemp garden mark actually found this for me he found it in a local shop so this also doesn't contain water and i mix this with the emeline spray and i rub this on my body after a bath as well the allergic reaction still definitely lasts just as long but it gives like a cooling sensation on my skin and at the same time it moisturizes which are two things that i think help to not prolong the allergic reaction and then on very bad days i also apply this aloe vera gel it's 100 percent aloe vera so it's got no water in it and again it just provides that cooling sensation on the days when the hemp balm just isn't doing it for me i apply the aloe vera and it literally feels like you've put ice all over your body but without actually putting ice all over your body because that was another suggestion i got was why don't you just get some ice and put it over your body i'm sure that'd help cool you down except that's water so to shave these days, you guys saw in my last video that I actually was shaving in the bath with 
a wet razor and a lot of people were thinking like why are you wasting your time doing that in the bath you know when surely it makes sense to get in and out as quickly as possible so nowadays I use this epilator so an epilator is a little bit different in the sense that you can use it wet or dry I personally haven't yet used it in the bath because I've been dry epilating recently which is what you can see that I'm doing here so basically what an epilator does is you put it against your skin you like pull the skin nice and tight and it kind of like plucks the hairs out I know it sounds pretty savage but at the beginning it does hurt a little bit but I found that it doesn't actually set off a full-on allergic reaction it doesn't make my skin start itching after hair removal so I now remove all of my hair before I have a bath which I have found helps a little bit it gives me less to stress about whilst I'm in the bath less to think about and less on my to-do list but don't get me wrong it still doesn't reduce how long the allergic reactions last it's just less for me to think about if you get me so here's my skin under the microscope after I've had the shave just so that you can see the difference I personally don't think the difference is that crazy like obviously you can see some of the areas are a little bit more sore and um, you can see that there are some areas where I've missed little bits of hairs um, the only major major difference that I can see is that my skin looks like a little bit sore and we also have just that one spot where you can see I've, I've cut myself a tiny bit now when you actually look at my leg like from outside of the microscope that is nothing that is the tiniest tiniest little red dot but on here you can see it's just bleeding a little bit under the skin it looks like so ignore that honestly it doesn't look as dramatic in real life as it does under the microscope so as it stands apart from some dryness and the odd stray hair like I think my skin's looking pretty okay still like at this point and if you guys don't think so then you're not used to my skin trust me like this is a good day for my skin so obviously after I shave I'm getting straight in the bath we're getting that bath run jumping straight in doing my thing having a wash and all of that good stuff and we're gonna fast forward to getting out of the bath so that I can show you what I do after I get out of the bath. Today's bath I haven't actually washed my hair because obviously at the moment I'm wearing frontals so I can wash my hair whilst I'm out of the bath to again minimize the time that I spend in the bath. It's not actually part of my bath routine to wash my hair whilst I'm in the bath. I always make sure that I allocate a separate day for that just to kind of spread it out a little bit and just make it so that I just don't have one hugely traumatic day where I've had to have a bath, wash my hair shave all in one go and then fresh out the bath you can see that I'm drying my legs with a cotton towel I don't dry as in like rub my legs I always pat so you can see I'm being really really gentle so it takes me a little bit longer to dry I'd say because I'm so careful and I do it really slowly and I make sure to be so careful of my skin but I found that this is so much better than just rubbing yourself dry and then here's the exciting bit so this is my skin after after we've had the bath so I think the difference is really obvious so we've got to bear in mind that this is mid allergic reaction so this is fresh out of the bath I've already been having an allergic reaction for the past say like half an hour or so whilst I've been in the bath and then obviously it's carrying on whilst I'm out of the bath as well so I whacked my skin under the microscope quickly just so that you guys could see the difference from before and after and I think it's quite obvious to see the difference like you can see that my skin is far more inflamed than it was before I got in the bath you can see that each of the little hair follicles are really kind of like inflamed and they look red and patchy and obviously being to this video like I said before it is always going to look a little bit worse under the microscope but it's important we just compare it from before and after so we can focus on the difference rather than how bad it looks under a microscope do you know what I mean so you can see here that I've got areas that are kind of dry and really sore but the main thing that stands out to me is the hair follicles and the redness and how sore it really looks so yeah I just thought that was really interesting just to see kind of like the before and after and this is it this is what an allergic reaction looks like under a microscope. So now I'm whacking on the mix of the emmeline spray and the hemp balm, just rubbing that over my legs, making sure that my legs are nice and moisturized. And then I've chucked some loose, comfy clothing on, which always helps my allergic reaction to calm down. Just because if I were to stay like naked and were to try and recover from my allergic reaction without any clothes on, my skin being so sensitive and so sore would actually make the allergic reaction last longer because it would irritate itself further. So it would actually just take longer for the allergic reaction 
action to stop which is really strange i know but it's true but as you can see i've just got my comfy clothes on i'm jumping into bed to recover and i'm literally just going to chill there and recover for as long as it takes for my allergic reaction to stop so at this point i'm itching a lot like this is a little bit of a throwback to my previous bath video when i was having a reaction on camera i've decided to kind of like cut this down because i feel like you've seen this before so i don't feel like you need to see me like rolling around in pain in my bed any more times than you already have so i'm speeding this up and getting to the end of my allergic reaction and then you can see how taken out i am at the end of it like that let's just appreciate my face for a second i mean the wig the hair the red mark on my face the confusion and honestly that is a visual representation of how i feel after a bath like it is like i've been beaten but i guess guys that is just the reality of being allergic to water and it being bath day i hope you found this video informative and i hope you found the microscope footage as interesting as i did because i feel like i had so much fun filming this video make sure that you smash a thumbs up if you did enjoy this video and make sure that you're commenting down below letting me know any other videos that you'd like me to do with my new microscope because like we can do makeup related microscope videos we can do more skin ones just let me know down below what you want to see and we will get that done as always angels please don't forget to be subscribing to my channel before you leave i would appreciate it so much like you guys really can just change my whole life with the click of a subscribe button and look at you out here doing it i honestly cannot thank you enough so just keep hitting the subscribe button keep smashing the thumbs up i will appreciate it forever and ever as always angels thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video